This month, Better Off Out is running a campaign focusing on the disastrous common fisheries policy of the European Union. We're explaining the damage done to Britain's marine environment and to our fishing industry. But we're also explaining how the situation would be improved if we left the European Union and regained control over our coastal and territorial waters. For this podcast, I travelled down to Cornwall to speak to those working in the fishing and related industries. Uh, and the singing you can hear in the background in places is by the boys from the New Key Rowing Club. Remember, you can find out more about Save Britain's Fish campaign on our website, www.betteroffout.net. Look under campaigns, find the Save Britain's Fish campaign, uh, and you'll be able to order all sorts of uh, useful materials that you could use to campaign on this issue. So for the first section, uh, we're going down to the dockside in Penzance, where we learn about the tragedy of the discard policy. So Well, hello, we're here in Penzance. We're launching the Better Off Out Save Britain's Fish uh, campaign. Here's a booklet that we've produced. We're also doing leaflets uh, and uh, banners, posters, <laughs> beer mats, all sorts of things uh, to try and explain about how, how disastrous the European Union common fisheries policy has been for the British fishing industry and also for our marine environment. To take just one example, the uh, common fisheries policy is based on what is known as the total allowable catch, that is uh, how much of different fish is allowed to be taken and then that total allowable catch is then divided up first of all by country and then down to individual ships. Um, it has unfortunate consequences, one of the most delirious is uh, the discards that take place. So let's imagine uh, one of these fishing boats behind us has got permission to go out and take catches of two different species of fish which generally swim together and are found together. So out goes the fisherman and he puts his nets down, he brings up the fish and everything's going lovely. Uh, but then he reaches the limit that he's allowed to catch of species A. Uh, and yet in order to make a living, in order to land enough fish, he needs to carry on fishing for species B even though he's not allowed to catch species A, which is found in the same waters and swims together, inevitably the nets will bring up both species A and species B, uh, and yet he has to throw back dead into the water the fish of species A, because he's only allowed to catch species B. Now, this does nothing to conserve the fish stocks, it does nothing uh, to increase the breeding populations of the fish, all it does is allow a bureaucrat in Brussels to carry on with his little form ticking, knowing nothing about conditions in fishing ports such as Penzance here. Uh, and the scale of this tragedy is absolutely immense. Around 1.7 million tonnes of fish is thrown back dead into the sea uh, in the, I I each year in recent years. That's a staggering 23% of all the fish that is caught. Uh, that's fish which is being killed but isn't being eaten, fish that's being taken out of the marine environment. It's doing untold damage to the seas around uh, Britain, it's doing massive damage to the marine environment. Uh, and yet our fishermen are still being deprived of the opportunity to fish. So that's just one example of why the common fisheries policy is bad for Britain and bad for the environment. We're campaigning to get Britain out of the European Union because that is the only way that we can save our waters and save our fishermen uh, from the disastrous uh, damage being caused by the common fisheries policy. And good luck to them. <laughs> <laughs>